the piece is called Nelson's Ship in a Bottle. Nelson won the Battle of Trafalgar um, against uh, Napoleon. And so I put the ship, uh, HMS Victory, um, into the, a large bottle. And the sails on the ship are uh, African textiles I usually work with in my work. The piece has been at Trafalgar Square for just over a year now. As far as we're concerned, this is a work of art that, that is brilliant and exciting in its own right, but it also relates to a very significant moment in British history uh, and something that has that resonance both to today and in terms of understanding the past uh, is something that needs to be kept in this country. And so we're really hopeful that this campaign is going to lead to the, the right result, which is the bringing of the ship in the bottle from Trafalgar Square down to the Maritime Museum at Greenwich. It's a way of actually doing something magical, that's a work of art, uh, but that's also talking about history as well. I want to represent what Britain is like today and the diversity within Britain, and then using um, you know, Nelson as a kind of a symbol, if you like. It's a work that speaks to contemporary Britain as well as the history of Britain, and it speaks to Britain's maritime history and maritime experience. I was delighted, of course, when I was approached by the Maritime Museum. Uh, there couldn't be a better venue for that piece. We have at Greenwich the, the finest collections of Nelson material and Royal Navy material anywhere in the world. Greenwich is also in East London. We're part of a very diverse society and our new entrance at the Sammy Offer Wing faces Greenwich Park, which really is a uh, uh, an attractor for people coming from all over Britain and beyond and all over London. People use it as their back garden in a sense. And so to have the work there which people can um, see, enjoy and think about is very, very important to us. Its significance in popular terms uh, as well as in artistic terms and historical terms is, is, is proven and all that adds up to a very, very powerful case uh, for bringing it to Greenwich. Works of art that genuinely can bridge the past and the present are very few and far between. Uh, and what I personally love so much about Inca's work is that it deals, it is intricately bound up with very, very serious issues of the kind I mentioned, but it's also great fun. At the end of the day, you know, it's playful art that hopefully, you know, will make people smile. Also, people tend to wonder about how the ship, you know, got into the bottle, which is also another playful thing, because I won't tell anyone, you know, how that was done.